Hey guys and girls, Chito Fahedans here for the first post-processing chop shop. Corner pinning is a very simple and elegant trick for that slightly misaligned shot that you'd like to keep. The corner pin effect was added to Adobe Premiere in version CS6. Just go into the Effects tab and find it under Distort. Now, drag it over the shot you want to fix and go into the Effects tab for that shot. You have two different options now. One is playing with the numbers here, the other is using the mouse to drag the corners manually. For the numbers, what I like to do is adjust opposite corners. Like, if I adjust the top right corner, then I'll jump straight to the bottom left corner. They need to go in opposite directions and always outwards. Otherwise, you'd have black edges in the frame, like this. You can also use the top left and bottom right corners, it's a simple matter of preference. The way I check if it's right is by looking at perpendicular lines in the frame, like buildings in the horizon. If the lens is mesaligned, they won't be perpendicular, and that's what you're aiming for. I strongly think this isn't good for fixing flares, since that's likely to mess with every real horizontal line that you have in the frame. The other option, besides playing with the numbers on the tab, is pressing this little square with dots on its corners. This will show you the corner pin targets on the footage window and you can drag them at your will until it looks right. Be careful not to change it vertically since that will make your footage look weird and even more misaligned. Double check the numbers to make sure the second row hasn't changed values because that stands for the vertical distortion. If you prefer working in After Effects, it's almost the same thing. Import your footage, drop it into a composition and drag the corner pin effect over it. Here I prefer just to drag the control points instead of playing with the numbers, but that's because I'm super comfortable working in After Effects. I also keep Shift pressed while I drag to make sure it only moves in one axis, not messing up the footage vertically. If you're not so at home with After Effects, I strongly recommend keeping an eye on the values just to be sure you're not making any mistakes. I'm gonna reinforce that this cheat just works for footage that is slightly off. If your shot is all messed up, fixing it will either wreck resolution or not look right at all, no matter how much you distort it. So always double check alignment. I don't think I need to mention that you can do this in Nuke as well, since if you can handle Nuke, you don't need a tutorial on corner pen. That's it for this week. Let me know how interesting you find these post-processing tips and tricks, and I'll keep working on them. Subscribe now. You really should. And check my blog for additional articles and videos. See you next week. Fahadungs out.